Hey, hi, Dipali. Yeah, hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I hope you're doing well. Yes, sir. I'm good. All right. So, Dipali, um, I saw your resume and uh, it feels like very much comfortable for this present domain. So, yeah. can you please walk me through your profile? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I was working on Power BI developer as a Power BI developer. Uh, in my previous company. Mm -hmm. So I have a total 4.5 of experience and relevant is a power BI is a 2 plus of experience. And uh, in this company, I was working for two domains like retail domains and rental domains. Mm -hmm. So uh, this both domains are US best, uh, US best. Okay. So uh, on this uh, projects, my roles and responsibilities are to creating a reports uh, and publish uh, publishing into the power BI services. When, when I was creating a report, that time I was working data modeling, data cleanings, and uh, by using tax, multiples of tax functions, GUI options, and char, bar gra graphs, charts, we are using uh, both and creating a reports into Power BI desktops. And after creating, we are sharing to the Power BI services. When I was sharing into the Power BI services, that time we are creating a dashboards. And we set uh, alerts and subscription into the dashboards and uh, that's all my daily works and side by side i was cleaning the data from my data sources i was working on three data sources okay. snowflake sequels and sql data sources also okay. uh, uh, i was working th three data sources to clean in the data mm -hmm. uh, from these data sources okay all my work done so uh dipali tell me what were your challenges while you were working you know you know having some activities related to power bi so what are what were the daily challenges you faced? Uh, when I was working uh, uh, daily, so that time I was facing uh, data connectivity uh, issues mm -hmm. from when mm -hmm. uh, like uh, refresh modes uh, for mm -hmm. uh, shadow refreshes and refreshes in uh, Power BI services. Mm -hmm. So many times I was facing these issues. Okay. And uh, like uh, multiples of DAX functions and uh, clients require as per our client requirements uh, mm -hmm. when we are working for a properly in DAX. So mm -hmm. in DAX, I was facing multiples of issues. Okay. So how did you, uh, I mean, handled it and uh, what were the steps to? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Firstly, I was learned the what is the issue. Okay. Then uh, we will work on these issues uh, where we are searching for Googles and uh, we are learning for multiples of YouTubes and uh, okay. multiples of channels and we handle these issues okay. uh, for my own purpose. Uh, when I was not solved these issues, so I go to the manager and uh, give uh, manager help. All right. So Google and YouTube were the primary sources of getting yeah. fine. Super. So you said that you were, uh, I mean, uh, familiar with, uh, you know, uh, database somewhere, yes. SQL and so on. Okay. Yes. So how would you rate yourself, you know, on a scale of, you know, 1 to 10? Uh, for data sources? Yeah. Uh, 7. All right. Fine. So uh, what are the DBMS software you are familiar with? Uh... Yeah, SQL and uh, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Snowflake, uh, multiple of software. Okay. So did you uh, handle uh, somewhere data cleaning? Yes. Part of your job? Okay. So what yes. were your, you know, uh, what did you do in the data cleaning part? Can you please elaborate on that? Yeah, when I was cleaning the data to check the nulls values, duplicates, okay. and errors, and they remove this, uh, or uh, remove this uh, errors and null values and duplicates values from our data. When uh, your data, uh, like uh, your uh, data type is a uh, numeric, and uh, your data, sorry, uh, actually your data type is a uh, text, text, but uh, your uh, column is a date function. So okay. you can assign this for a date data types mm -hmm. so uh, we are facing uh, multiples of issues uh, in our data cleanings okay so dipali let's say uh, i want to delete all the records in a table okay so what command are you going to use uh, we are using truncate command okay uh, because uh, when we are using delete command, so uh, we delete is uh, when we are passing the condition okay. uh, to the delete function and we delete the uh, records. But uh, truncate is uh, remove the all records from our tables. 
Okay, okay, fine. Done. So, are you familiar with uh, somewhere primary key? What is a primary key and foreign key? Yeah, uh, in our data tables, uh, there are uh, uh, like a uh, single primary keys, uh, mm -hmm. like it's a numeric and uh, there is a no null values in your primary keys. But in a, we, when we are going to the like uh, as a uh, learn or we are a, uh, like face to the as a DBA database administrator. Mm -hmm. So the we can learn for a, in our table, there are multiples of primary keys. But we are basically used for only one primary keys at it says a, a numeric type and there is a no null values. Okay. Yeah. So coming back to normalization, what do you understand by the term normalization? Yeah. Uh, normalization, it's a, a uh, normalization data set, uh, data sources are totally clean datas. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is the uh, process of organizing the data in our databases. And it is a redundancy or in inconsistency of uh, dependencies in our data okay. databases. So, is there any type of normalization? Yes, uh, okay. first NF, second NF, or third NF. Okay, okay, fine, done. So, uh, uh, Dipali, uh, have you come across the term indexing, the concept of indexing in SQL? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, index it's used for the uh, retrieve the data from our data uh, like columns or data we getting the index for uh, numbering one two three and all. Okay, are you sure on that again? Oh yes. Okay, done. Uh, let's say if I want to delete the duplicate rows in a table, so what command am I going to use? Uh, we are uh, using for a group by function or uh, having function using to so delete, duplicate delete the row. duplicates rows. Sure. Yes. Okay. Fine. So coming back to the Power, Power BI part. So apart from Power BI, have you, have you used uh, Tableau as your data visualization tool? Yes. Sir. Okay. So can you brief me something about Tableau? Yeah, uh, mostly Tableau or uh, uh, users are learned like uh, uh, as compared to Power BI and mm -hmm. Tableau. So mm -hmm. Power BI is the best and simple tools we are using and handling this. Okay. But uh, uh, Tableau, I was personally using the Tableau and personally working uh, in my previous company as a Tableau. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, like uh, uh, as compared Power BI, Tableau is used huge amount of data sources. Uh, but in Power BI, we, there are limits for the uh, data sets. And uh, in Tableau, we are uh, uh, Tableau's, uh, there are the same both tools, like both are the same tools, uh, mm -hmm. Power BI and Tableau. Similar. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but the multiples of functions are different. Like uh, in Power BI, we are using DAX functions and uh, in Tableau, we are using uh, MDAX functions, like majors calculated fields we are using in Tableau. Super. And, okay. okay. So, uh, which is your favorite, I mean, chart that you use on Power BI? Bar chart, line chart. Line chart. So, yeah. uh, tell me something about line chart. Uh, when, uh, like, a line chart, it's uh, show our data, like, trend-wise, uh, like, uh, date time-wise, we are showing the data into line chart. So, like we have a uh, uh, like uh, one years of data and we see our uh, sales of your latest three months. Okay. Uh, like how uh, what is the profit and what is the sales of our uh, data? So that time we are using uh, trend charts. Like sorry, line charts. Line charts. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what about pie chart? Uh, yeah, pie chart. It's uh, mostly used for uh, categorize the data. Uh, we show the content of amount overall total data in our uh, pie chart, uh, like percent wise uh, calculations, uh, percent wise or total revenue wise, profit wise. We are seen to power pie charts. So, uh, okay, uh, coming back to SQL again. Okay, so uh, let's say, um, can I can I can I concate uh, two different data, you know, types in SQL? If so, if so, if I can concate, then how is it is it possible? Yes, by using contact uh, concatenate functions and uh, and operator using functions you and operator using uh, to 
concatenate the two data types or two different data types of data into SQL. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you please tell me about the use of views in SQL? Yeah. Uh, when we create a, a database and uh, we are uh, using the this data, so mm -hmm. that time we are use use function in our SQL to use the databases. And in data, we using uh, databases. So that time we are uh, working on multiples of operation or functions in uh, SQL databases. Done. So um, do you have any hands-on experience into Excel as well? Oh, yeah, I have basic knowledge about this. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Excel. 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 Fine. Suppose in Excel, uh, let's say I have uh, a data set and I want to find out, uh, you know, a specific month or total number of orders that is placed on a specific month, the total number of orders that is placed. So county what function, function am I going to use? County. County. Okay. Super. Done. Uh, let's say I want to uh, find out the total sales transaction for a couple of cities. So what I am going to use? Some functions. Some functions. Okay. Done. So, uh, yeah. And uh, one more question. So, as a data analyst, uh, what are the challenges you faced as a data analyst overall? Can you give me an overview on that? Yeah. Uh, when we are working as a, a Power BI tools or Tableau tools, so okay. firstly, we giving the give the data from our data sources. So, yeah. that time I was facing through data connectivity issues from data sources to uh, getting data sources uh, from to the into my uh, tools power bi so mm -hmm. firstly we are we, uh, facing multiples of issues for data connectivity and uh, second is uh, like uh, we creating uh, multiples of charts mm -hmm. so that time i was using the uh, dax function so uh, the uh, so this issue is uh, facing and uh, third is uh, like uh, we are uh, for publishing your uh, sharing your reports into the power bi services so that time gateway issue is a uh, uh, multiples of times we are facing. Okay. okay. So uh, have you faced, uh, so as you told that you were working in a company, so have you faced a situation where you have to work with the company and meet the debt, uh, deadlines, tight deadlines? In that case, what did you do? Uh, uh, suppose like... Uh, uh, firstly, uh, I will uh, I will manage. Uh, I was managing the uh, my deadline and my work, and uh, I was uh, fully dedicated and work daily to daily time to time uh, for this work. And uh, so, in case uh, my work is not done for a deadline, uh, so that time I was uh, going to the go to the manager and uh, uh, postpone this deadline, and I will work on give me a two to three days, and uh, I was finish my work. Okay, so what if the manager regrets, I mean, or uh, sorry, rejects the, you know, deadline, so, your extension. So what are you going to do at that time? Personally, I was working over full day or night on this task and completed this task. All right, all right. So do, don't you think that work-life balance is a must for an employer? Yes. Okay, fine. So uh, coming back to again. So where do you see yourself, Tipali, in the next five years? Uh, in a, a reputed in a like a reputed company, so I was working as a uh, like a best desi uh, designation in mm -hmm. in my own this company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I I I went through your resume. I saw that you are a master in computer science. Yes. So why not into coding part? Why into this uh, you know Power BI and analysis part? Why? Actually, uh, I like visualization, designing and creating the reports. Okay. So that's why I was going to the uh, like analysis part. Yeah. Uh, as compared yeah. to coding, so coding is so vast and uh, I was working coding for in my uh, graduation and mm -hmm. post-graduation days. Okay. So uh, so it's uh, as compared to best part is uh, into me for uh, go to the analysis. Well, well, well. So uh, Dipali, as you said that you are very much diversified to the work you do and uh, somewhere alcoholic again. Yeah. So one more question. Okay. So if uh, let's say in an emergency, okay, yeah. I'm telling you to learn a tool and uh, in uh, you know uh, dedicate yourself for the 
next department that is software testing okay yes so how comfortable are you with that yeah, I'm comfortable with that because in my, uh, uh, when I was start my career, so that time I was working as a manual tester, junior manual tester. Okay. Okay. So, so at I'm times, at that. times of emergency, you can, you know, assist them as well. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yes, sir. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. So, uh, pan India relocation is not an issue for you? Yes, sir. Not issue. Not an issue. Fine. All right. So done. I'm done from my end. Okay. And, uh, the HR will get back to you on my feedback. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So have a good day. Thank you, Dipal. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.